It's not your average yoga. It's a new wave for a new age. <laughs> when Zen goes zany. Next. Forget Tai Chi. How about a little hee hee for what ails you? With a forced or fake laughter is the best medicine. But does a chuckle a day really keep the doctor away? Let's ask Arthel Neville. to be, if you needed to relax, you might try the serenity of traditional yoga. But now there is a trendy new way to get those good vibrations. <laughs> Watch out, because the Zen has gone zany. It's the most pleasant form of exercise you can do, because you're just laughing your heart out. These folks are doing laughter yoga, the new health fad that has spread from India to about 60 instructors in the U.S., from California to Connecticut. Here in Laguna Beach, California, this combination of yucks and yoga is led by Jeffrey Breyer in what he calls the Laguna Laughter Club. A year and a half ago, yeah, the first laughter club session was just me, and after a week or so, we had about two or three people. Okay, wait a minute. The first session was just you. Yeah, just So me. that means you were out here on the beach, on the beach laughing by yourself. Laughing by myself. And people would walk by and go, it's laughter as exercise. And they went, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh if you want, but over the past year and a half, almost 5,000 people have shared the chuckles and chakras of laughter yoga with the funny-faced instructor. Since the 60s and 70s, there's been a lot of research done on the benefits of laughter. When you laugh and, and after you rest from laughing, your stress factors all go down. And there's plenty of stress in our lives. <laughs> Listen, when you're sent on an assignment like this at the beach, you can't help but be happy. So you know what? I'm going to go in and take this laughter yoga class and see what it's all about, and I'll let you know. When we do it, we'll reconnect with our childlike sense of play. We'll be like little kids going to the playground for the first time and meeting new kids and going, oh, a new kid, he knows games. First, we stretch the laughter muscles. <laughs> then, some serious merrymaking. Now, if you want, you can laugh gently like this. <laughs> That's a polite laugh. Yeah, or you can be vigorous like this. <laughs> it makes one feel wonderful, good, and releases the stress. It helps breathing, it helps digestion, it helps one's mental attitude. You just feel positive. Even victims of stroke say they feel the benefits of laughter yoga. It looks kooky, feels a little kooky, but if you get into it, you can't help but actually start to laugh, a sincere laugh and you feel better. <laughs> Ultimately, the purpose of this work is people will laugh together, enjoy being happy with each other, and then they won't want to fight with each other. So the, ultimately, the goal of this work is world peace. And that is no laughing matter. Very good. Very good. Yay! And Geraldo, I just want to tell you, if you're having a bad day, the baby's crying a little bit extra, you know, I don't know, you had to buy the wife even bigger diamonds, I'm not sure, whatever might have you stressed for the day, just go ahead and try laughter yoga. There is something uh, therapeutic about laughing. I'm at large in Laguna Beach, California, laughing all the way back to you, Geraldo, New York. You know, Arthel, Eric was running an important errand this morning, and I was watching the baby waiting for the nanny. The nanny was running late. So was I. And the baby picked that exact moment to have the messiest poopy diaper in history. 